Rocky Jones. Space Ranger. Space Ranger. Space Ranger. Starring Richard Crane. In Inferno in Space, Chapter 3. When we last saw Rocky Jones, the planet Earth was in the grip of impending disaster. The dreaded Zirconian force has reached Earth sooner than expected, destroying all wood in its path, causing mounting chaos. Taking advantage of the crisis on Earth, Rocky's old foe Agar has escaped to Herculon, where he posed as a benevolent scientist to get in suzerain Juliandra's favor. Most of Earth is still shielded by our moon, protecting us from Circa and the Zirconian force. But time is running out. We are faced with a double threat. The Circonian force and Circo becoming unstable because of the eruptions on her. We all know what this means. I suggest we proceed with our plan for sea day immediately, Mr. Secretary. I've made arrangements for every man, woman, and child to be furnished with small space mirrors. On sea day, these will be used simultaneously with our giant space mirrors, turning all the Earth into one huge deflector deflecting the Zirconian force back to where it came from, Circo. Gentlemen, it's got to work. But we must be sure of one thing. The action of magnets and space mirrors must be synchronized. You can depend on me, Professor. Your instructions will be followed to the letter. After you've dropped the magnetic elements on Circo, its magnetic power will be restored. This power is necessary to pull back and consolidate the vital energies Circo is throwing off. This process will counteract further eruptions and stabilize Circo. The Silver Moon's ready, sir. I'll contact Vina right away at my laboratory for the special charts and time schedule I've prepared. We'll get her on the visiograph. Yes, Professor? Silver Moon is leaving for Herculean at once to pick up the magnetic load. Please meet us aboard with the file Operation Circo. Right away, Professor. That means you're calling sea day, doesn't it? Any moment, Bobby. I'd better get the kids together for a final drill. You do that, Bobby. We'll need every one of you. Vina, what happened? I don't understand this. There's been an explosion right in the lab. we better get over there. All the wooden shelves holding these bottles with chemicals disintegrated. Thank heavens nobody was hurt. Well, there's only one answer to this. This wood was destroyed by the Zirconian force. There's no doubt it has now reached our part of Earth. What are we going to do? I'll declare a state of emergency at once. All endangered areas will be evacuated. Rocky, get ready for blast off. Yes, sir. Biff's already aboard the Silver Moon. Go ahead, Rocky. I'll see you there for a final briefing. All right, Professor. <laughs> So, observation post Herculon will be our contact point and uh, relay all messages. Right. Now, Rocky, after the magnetic elements have been deposited on Circo, the strong magnetic field will have been created. Be sure to get away from it just as fast as you can and out of the path of the space mirrors. We'd better. Between Circo's magnetic pole and the deflected Zirconian force, the silver moon wouldn't have a chance. Well, Rocky, this is the beginning of Operation Circo. Strange. Only a short time ago, things like Agar's escape seemed important. And now the fate of the Earth depends on you. It's a heavy responsibility. I'll do my best to live up to it, sir. I'll feel much better once Operation Circular is completed. You're back with us safe and sound. Don't worry, Professor. I'll be back. Good. I want to do more than just thank you for your generous hospitality, Suzerain Juliandra. You're more than welcome on Herculon, Dr. Norick. I'm very pleased you find our scientific institutions adequate. Adequate? Why, they're more advanced than anything on my home planet, Venus. Your laboratory will enable me to make my modest contribution to Earth and its struggle for survival. I'm sure Secretary Drake will be heartened to hear that he has friends throughout the United World. I would rather that you didn't mention me to him yet, Juliandra. I'm still experimenting, and in science... Nothing counts but the results. How are things on Earth? I take it you're in constant touch? 
Oh, I am, Doctor. And very soon now we'll be having first-hand information. Rocky Jones is on his way to Herculon. Rocky Jones? Oh, yes, I think I've heard of him. Isn't he the famous commander of the Silver Moon? That's right, Doctor. And with him at the controls is a young man from Herculon, Biff and Cardoza. On Earth, they call him Biff. You wanted to inspect the cargo to be loaded aboard the Silver Moon when it arrives? It's ready for your inspection, Juliandra. I enjoyed talking with you, Doctor. She'll have to excuse me now. There are some recent scientific documents dealing with the Zirconian Force. You're welcome to read them if you like. Thank you, Juliandra. I'm most anxious to. Please make yourself at home. If there's anything you need, do call on Shima. You're very generous, Juliandra. Is there anything you wish, Dr. Norak? No, thank you, Shima. I want to study these. You think you might find the answer to that zirconian force? I don't know. I shall certainly try. We must all work together to save Earth, you know. You love the Earth people, don't you, Doctor? I admire them, their accomplishments, daring, skill. Those qualities should be quite familiar to you. What do you mean? I mean... When it comes to daring, you're a past master. Agar. I'll kill you if you'll give me away. You're killing me wouldn't be clever, Agar. And you're such a clever man. I admire you. I've wanted to meet you for a long time. Ours could be a very lucrative friendship. On whose terms? Equal terms. I'll help you with your plan if you help me with mine. To use your own words, we must work together. What exactly is your plan, Shima? I know I can be brief. You're my kind and we speak the same language. When you return to Medina, it will be as ruler. I won't stand in your way. But I will be suzerain of Herculon. I think we'll make a very good team, Shima. to get back to your home? And how? How about uh, calling him and telling him we're coming in, huh? Sure. Silver Moon calling Herculon headquarters. Come in, please. This is Herculon. Shima speaking. Welcome home, Bethan. Juliandra would like to speak to Rocky. How are you, Rocky? I've been looking forward to seeing you again. And how is our co-pilot doing? Best man I ever had, Juliandra. I'm grateful for your trust in him. Everything is ready here. Herculon is standing by. Thank you, Juliana. And we should be landing at 1305. See you then. Out. Earth has been wonderful for you, Biff. I wish every young man here could have this opportunity. Now, tell me about Operation Circo. Well, I've been told it's dangerous, Juliana. The Silver Moon may never return. Why, Biff? The Sirconian force deflected and sent back to Circo will cut a path through space so deadly that no man or spaceship could withstand it. Why must the Silver Moon be in the path of this force? Well, the way Rocky explained it, we're creating an unknown condition by magnetizing Circo. If our calculations prove wrong and we're unable to clear the magnetic field, we're lost. I see, Biffin. All of us here will be with Rocky and you in spirit. Thank you, Juliandra. With your permission, I'll go back to the Silver Moon. Rocky is checking the loading of the magnetic cargo. He may need me. I'll go with you, Biff. I'd like to see Rocky and wish him luck. That's what I like about you, Agar. You're always one step ahead of me. I surprise you with exciting news, and you come up with something like this. A spaceship that can become invisible. Compliments of the Earth people. I took it without their permission. Can she compete with the Silver Moon? Not in speed, but in appearance. Or rather, disappearance. Thanks to cold light. Handy little gadget, this. Now they see you, now they don't. Oh, come on. 
clever. So anything that gets in the path of the defected Sarconian force must perish. How convenient. Nature is playing right into our hands, setting the perfect trap for Rocky. Where is he now, Shima? He's at the Silver Moon, supervising the loading. How do you plan to dispose of him? Befitting to his station. Space Rangers die in space. Rocky plans to use our headquarters as a relay station for messages to Earth in the event he gets into trouble. The only message to Earth concerning Rocky will be the sad news of his untimely end, Suzerain Shima. Oh, such beautiful words. Oh, I almost forgot. I brought you a little present. It will come in very handy. Naboro, strongest man on Hercules. He has many useful qualities. Extreme loyalty, lots of muscle, and very little brain. A fine match for Rocky. Meet your master, Angel Face. This is Agar, ruler of Medina. Naboro will serve Agar, friend of Shima. We're ready to complete Operation Circo. Thanks for your wonderful cooperation, Juliandra. We'll be standing by here, anxiously waiting for your reports, which we'll relay to Earth at once. And we'll report as agreed. So long, Juliandra. Out. So long, Hercaron. They will come back, I know. As truly as I am suzerain of Hercules. What makes you so sure, Juliandra? I just know that's all. Could be your own. Don't make a sound if you want to live. So far, you've been an obedient hostage, Juliandra. You did as you were told. You ordered your men to ready my ship, and they never knew that those were my orders. You played your part well. I had good reason, Agar. A hostage usually serves a purpose. And mine, I suppose, is to trap Rocky Jones. Precisely. Well, let me tell you something. Rocky Jones is a seasoned space ranger, and he'll never be taken in by your scheme. This is your last chance. If you turn back now without interfering with the most crucial mission, we shall exercise as much leniency as possible. <laughs> <laughs> well spoken, ex Suzerain. We're scared to death. Take her up. We're ready for blast off. We made good progress since Rocky's departure. The space mirrors are ready to be put into operation. Any more news from Juliandra? No. I'll check right now. Officer of Space Affairs calling Herculon. Come in, please. This is Herculon headquarters. Bento speaking. Over. Will you put me through to the suzerain? This is Secretary Drake. I'm sorry, Mr. Secretary. The suzerain went on a tour of inspection to make sure all space travel was halted. Have her contact me the moment she gets back. Has there been a report from the Silver Moon since blast off? No, sir. We're standing by. Thank you, and out. This is one time I wish the Silver Moon could triple her speed. Do you think Earth can hold out? By now, our moon is only shielding a small part of it. Man has no way to stop the movements of planets or the forces of nature. Well, I know the Zirconian force is deadly, but I can't understand that tiny particles far off in space could become so dangerous. Biff, these particles move at the incredible speed of 10 million billion volts. Nothing even remotely approaching this energy has ever been encountered by mankind. Who'd ever think that a moon erupting way out in space could generate such power? We should be in visiograph range of circle by now. Same haze we saw in our reconnaissance flight. Well, I only hope once we clear that haze, we don't run into more trouble. In a few moments, you'll be talking to Rocky on the astrophone. I'll talk to him. I 
Well, you'd better be careful that you don't make a mistake. If you do, Naboro will show you what it means to cross us. I'm not afraid of either one of you. You're pathetic and insignificant. You're both victims of your greedy little desires. I'll teach you how to talk to your superiors. Let's get on with it. Contact Rocky. Somebody's in trouble. The stress call. Rocky, this is Juliandra. I'm patrolling the areas that have been closed to space traffic. I was on my way back when our ship developed trouble. Over. What's your position, Juliandra? I'm very close to you. Same vector, 62 degrees, 25 minutes. Can you take us aboard? Of course, Juliandra. We'll pull alongside. Prepare our lock. Out. We'll have to change course to pull alongside. Prepare our lock. What do you want? Get even with you. Well, you picked up fine time for it, just as you did once before. Agar must conquer while millions face death. That's the right moment. Zero hour, Mr. Secretary. I know. Just how much time is there left, Professor? Zero hour commences when the magnets are dropped on Serco at 1,400 hours. We have set aside 30 minutes for the magnetic field to form and for the spaceship Silver Moon to clear out of the danger zone. At exactly 1431, all the space mirrors will be turned on all over this Earth. Won't be long now. your mission, Rocky. Pleasant journey, Julian. Forget it, Beth. There's no time. Secure the airlock. Are you all right? I'm sorry I couldn't warn you, Rocky. You're safe. That's all that matters. Make the suzerain comfortable, then come forward. Hmm? We're sunk. The steering mechanism is gone. Oh, we can go to circle all right and drop the magnetic load. This we must do. 
will finish Operation Circle. And us with it. What do you mean, Rocky? Agar changed our course and wrecked the steering rockets. We can only go in one direction, towards Circle, straight into the path of the Sikonian force. We can't turn off and we can't back up. With the astrophone out, there's no way to get help. No time. It's almost zero hour. Within 30 minutes after we drop the magnetic load, the space mirrors on Earth will go into operation. And deflect the Sikonian force. Anything in the path of that force will be disintegrated. the magnetic load right now. In 31 minutes, the space mirrors go into operation. Number three load release, sir. Release four and five. Four and five release. Drop rest of load. Yes, sir. Take over the controls, Biff. I'm going aft. I've got an idea how to swing the ship and change our course. But how, Rocky? We don't have any steering rockets. I know. But I'm going into the third section and get one of our missiles. I'll place it in the escape hatch at right angles. When the missile's secured, I'll fire it. The thrust of our rockets should swing the ship around. I hope it'll work. Watch the gyro compass. What heading do you want? Oh, five, seven degrees. Now, the moment you hit that course, full thrust on all rockets. Be careful. That missile has a live warhead. You bet. And I haven't got time to disarm it. Stand by. Secure blast off belts. All points, Operation Circo. Prepare space mirrors. Oh, five, nine. Oh, five, eight. Zero minus five, four, three, two, one, zero. <laughs> to Herculean, I'm going to give a banquet in your honor. Sorry, Shima, we're heading for Medina. But thanks, just the same. Medina, we can't. I've got to be on Herculean before someone else takes over. That doesn't concern me. Don't interfere, that's an order. An order? Nabor, I'll stop him. Nobody hurt Shima. Let's go! Make him stop. Too late, my smart little suzerain. He's wrecked the control. That's Agar's ship. Yes. He's heading right into the path between Earth and Circo. Can we save him? I'm afraid not. He cut himself off when he tore out the astrophone. Any luck yet, Biff? Yes, sir. 
Our part of Operation Circle completed, sir. We're on our way back. Operation Circle also successful here on Earth. Well done, Rocky. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. Next stop, Hercules. Be with us next week, same time, same station, when we again take you into outer space for further adventures with Rocky Jones, Space Ranger.